Hey guys, it's me. A little downtrodden at the moment. I just got back from the dentist, so half of my face is feeling awful. Um, <clears throat> but hey, yay for progress. But we got our June games in for our humble choice, which is awesome. Amazingly so. Uh, I have not... Um, downloaded anything yet i haven't even purchased them yet I, I was at work until today so i didn't even know it dropped until late last night so without further ado let's uh go over the stuff like we always do um first game up is civilization 6 platinum edition which includes the game dlc and two expansions um i mean come on guys who doesn't know what civilization is at this point this game alone is enough for ten dollars and it's overly abundant for all the dlc and expansions the game's great the game's fantastic um next up we have secret neighbor i think i actually already own this game let me look at my library uh oh wasteland 3's got an update um let's see ah, i guess i don't have secret neighbor i know i have uh hello neighbor the other ones so I guess maybe I can go ahead and download that one I have several downloads going on there <clears throat> but if you don't know what um, hello neighbor is it's basically it's a first-person um, like survival horror game almost secret neighbor they took it to make it a multiplayer survival horror game with the advent of um, somebody broke a pin um, with the advent of all these multiplayer horror games that have come out, um, one person plays the neighbor and like four or five other people, I guess I guess six according to the picture here, um, plays the kids and they run around and try to solve mysteries and clues and get out before the uh, person who is neighbor um, <clears throat> catches you. <clears throat> but there you go. Um, Stubbs a zombie. Oh, th this is the... Uh, remaster isn't it that just came out a little bit ago yeah okay be the zombie kick ass and take brains it's 1959 in the city of punchbowl pa pennsylvania i believe right maybe uh, is a beacon of progress and ideal living showing the living that law and order are no match for dead man on a mission your boyfriend's back maggie and punchbowl is gonna be in trouble Uh, basically, you are Stubbs Zombie. You build a zombie horde, uh, do missions and levels and things like that. Um, kind of fun. It's really fun. Um, old school. I think it came out on PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. I cannot remember. A long time ago, and they remastered it just recently. Um, really kind of fun game if you like that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> Worms Rumble. Obviously, it's a Worms game, um, but I think this one is uh, multiplayer. So you play as Worms, you get weapons, you shoot at each other, and whoever's last standing wins. Yay! But it does have cross-platform multiplayer. Um, I remember the first time I ever played a Worms game, and it was uh, 2D um, side-scrolling, which is fantastic. Now they're 3D. I guess. And multiplayer battle royale games. I guess. But still your worms. Uh, next up we have Going Under. Is this also a multiplayer game? Uh, looks, looks to be maybe um, 2.5D. Oh, a numbing agent is starting to kick out. And now I'm in pain. Okay. Yeah, it looks like kind of like an adventure game. Uh, 2.5D. Uh, oh, no. Maybe 3D. I don't know. Um, adventure game. Colorful characters. Let's see what it has to say. Going Under is a satirical dungeon crawler about exploring the cursed ruins of failed tech startups. Okay. As an unpaid intern in the dystopian city of Neo-Cascadia, you'll wield office junk as weaponry as you make your way through the offbeat procedural dungeons beneath your company campus. That kind of sounds interesting. 
But yeah, it, lo it, it looks like a dun regular dungeon crawler now. Now that you look at some of this. Uh, the future is whack. <laughs> you tell him, sister. Uh, failed businesses no longer uh, just cease to exist. They sink beneath the earth. Their employees are cursed to wander the halls for eternity as monsters. It's your duty to put these monsters out of their misery and repossess their assets so that your boss can afford a new car or something. It's usually the case, right? Not all heroes get paychecks. Battle through the remains of failed startups themed off of gig workers, dating sites, and cryptocurrency. Uncover the true motives of your employer, a carbonated drink startup known as Fizzle and their parent company, a subscription box manufacturer with an army of helpful shipping drones. Make friends with your co-workers, hire a freelance goblin, date a slime, invest in crypto, set a rideshare on fire. Yes. That's really interesting. It's a very interesting concept for ta uh, taking uh, that sort of um, dungeon crawling and adding kind of like a, a modern motif I try it out. I really would. It's not going to be any sort of like Wizard of Legend, mind you, but it might be interesting. All right, on to the next game. We have ooh, Panzer Paladin, side scrolling. What is that? Eight bit? Metroidvania. Um, that looks really interesting. Kind of like Shovel Knight almost. Huh. Oh, all right. Let's just look at the features. Uh, well, I mean, the sight of a giant swords, the sight of giant swords blazing through the night sky might be hair raising, but stand your ground. The sinister, ravenous, and his legions of brutal demons are poised for battle. Even all the armies of the world can't stop them. But humanity has one final ace in the hole: cutting edge power armor called Paladin. It's now up to a strong-willed android named Flame to become a squire pilot the paladin, and track down all weapon keepers and their diabolical leader. The showdown between mankind's technological prowess and the powerful forces of the occult has begun. Seize weapons from the denizens of the netherworld and give them a taste of their own medicine. Shh. Oh, it's so it's kind of like Mega Man. Alright. Show them the power of cutting edge technology fused with masterful swordplay. Slash, bash, and thrust your way through a series of mind-blowing levels around the world. All of it rendered in glorious 8-bit graphics. Hop in your paladin and take up arms. So yeah, it's like it's like Mega Man. All right. Ow. Uh, Milky Way Prince. Oh, it's a visual novel. I like these sometimes. Uh, a visual novel about abusive relationship, idealism, and intimacy. I mean, yeah. 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 One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Live a summer of dysfunctional love through branching storylines, twists, sudden changes, and a special mechanic where you choose which senses to use with your boyfriend. Oh, you're actually playing a female at this point. All right. You will learn about him, his personality, and his past, making you question everything. Okay. semi autobiographical dark romance story. That's sad. Desolate. Uh, I think I actually already own this. Uh, if I don't, so I do already own it, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Um, but it is a um, it's kind of a multiplayer game, um, a multiplayer crafting game. Um, so I never really got into it because, as you know, I'm I'm not. I, I, I don't really have very many friends that play games with me, so I, you know you can play it one you can play it for one player, um, but you can get more um, people. Um, but yeah, it's a survival game, um, explorer game, stuff like that that you can do with a party of four people. Um, and I think it's like post-apocalyptic, which is not bad. But again, I don't I don't have anybody to play with, so games like this I'm kind of like. Meh. 
Next up, we have Inkenfell. Oh, I think I have actually heard of this. I think it's like a, kind of an old school style RPG. Yeah, a turn-based tactical RPG about a group of troublesome magic students. Use timing mechanics to power your spells and block artifacts. Explore the twisted halls of vast magic school. Fight challenging monsters and bosses. Find tons of hidden treasure and uncover dark secrets never meant to be found. That sounds awesome. Um, 48 unique spells. Blast your enemies, knock them back, poison them, or heal and buff your allies. There is no MP. Spells are about skill and strategy, each with its own timing to master. Huh. And there's cats. Everywhere. I mean, if I was a cat person. Interesting. This might be something I would play. <clears throat> Next up, we have Paw. Paw Paw. Okay. <clears throat> Paw Paw is a 2D side-scroller beat-em-up game. You play as part of the resistance in their effort to bring down the king. Hack and slash your way to victory and beat all your enemies into pulps. And I guess you are dogs. Alright. And it is multiplayer. Side-scroller and beat-em-up with multiplayer. Okay. Um, play single player or local co-op for uh, up to four players. Level up your character. Unlock new combos. Loot and equip new weapons. Hire a companion to help you in battle. Ride your mount into battle. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Seems interesting. I just I wish I had somebody to play with. Maybe I can get Scarlet to play and we can show you what this game is all about. Next up we have Effie. Interesting title. It's a racing game. Effie is a 3D action platformer game that combines, combines classic elements from the genre, such as combat, platforming, and puzzles, with the exploration of an expanded world. Live in a unique fantasy adventure, free the cities from a powerful and dark evil, and relive the look and feel of old school video games. <clears throat> Alright, looks like he's using a shield there. Um, delve into the adventure of Garland. I couldn't use Garland, because that's Final Fantasy. But Garland, a young man in his quest to recover his youth after a witch cursed him with premature old age. Defeat all the sinister creatures, uncover all the platforming cat challenges, and solve the most complex trouble blah, blah, puzzles. Alright. That's a pretty good uh, inspiring seems interesting but why is there like a oh well, hold on I don't I don't have my headphones in so that's the reason why I don't watch it so are you permanent I guess you are using the shield and that's your basic weapon I mean you can turn it into other things interesting all right graphics are pretty neat all right uh, next up we have disjunction this looks like a multiplayer game too <clears throat> just because there are multiple people on the screen I know, I'm weird. Uh, oh, it's stealth action gameplay. Oh, and it's it's kind of isometric. Top-down stealth action gameplay. Alright, set in the dystopian underworld of a near-futuristic New York City, Disjunction is a deeply atmospheric cyberpunk single-player stealth action RPG that follows the intertwined narratives of three characters as they unravel a mystery that will change the fate of their city. A classic RPG featuring hardcore stealth action mechanics and a reactive story where your choices have real consequences. Disjunction gives players the freedom to take the gameplay approach that suits their playstyle, blasting through levels in brutal, fast-paced combat, or sneaking around encounters to avoid confrontation. Alright. And then we are back to Civilization VI. Those are our games. There are not a lot of, like, big standout games um, of this month, which is fine. Um, sometimes it's not always going to be standout games. Um, some of the interesting games I will probably play will be Stubbs, um, Going Under, Inkenfell. I might check out Paw Paw if I can get Scarlet to play, um, Effie, and Disjunction. I probably will play the Milky Way Prince. Um, 
because I like visual novels a lot. It means I don't have to do much. Um, maybe I can... No, I don't want to do that. I was thinking maybe I could use that as a, a good learning tool for the kids, but it's going to be a dark romance. So um, that may not be wise. Um, but I guess that's going to be it for this time. Um, I am exploding with pain at the moment and am going to go lay down and take some medicine. Fantastic. Love you. Bye-bye.